Dr. Gilles Lebeau is our visiting surgeon from France, general surgeon with a huge experience in uh, treating uh, patients with groin pain and uh, 250 surgeries per year. Thank you, Darko. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, today, uh, I want to speak about the groin pain in athletes and uh, particularly uh, long-standing adductor right groin pain and the surgery. Do you know this? Uh, handball uh, player, his name is Lo Joel Abalo, and uh, I saw him just before to go uh, to come here, and uh, he has uh, adductor rotator groin pain. Is he out for the tournament? And uh, I uh, can uh, um, I will see him uh, in my return in France, maybe for the surgery. Um, groin pain before that's all uh, diagnosis like this, and now, and in France particularly, only three uh, diagnoses like uh, sport hernia, stated pubis, and adductor antesopathy. But now, we can uh, um, have diagnosis like uh, inguinal related groin pain, adductor, pubic, and iliopsos related. The epidemiology, there is no evidence epidemiology in handball, but in football, uh, you can see uh, about 60% uh, football players have presented pain in some first study. And uh, the groin pain athletes, it's about 10 or 20% of players every season. The recurrence, of course, is very high and uh, uh, almost uh, 50%. And also, uh, the past history of groin pain athletes multiplied the risk of repeat episode by two at the case of professional player by three. So it's very, very important this one. All uh, so that uh, the repartition uh, of groin pain in athletes, it's uh, the most important for adductor rotator groin pain, 60%. And I'm visceral surgeon, only 2% uh, uh, of inguinal rotator groin pain, but <laughs> it's important to see. So, uh, to understand something, of course, remember the anatomy, and uh, uh, Adam uh, talked uh, perfectly about this anatomy. Here, in the schematic view, you can see the rectus abdominis and the continuation with the adductor longus. Uh, the superficial ring in the inguinal canal is very important, and the inguinal ligament, important because separate the up and down in the abdominal wall. Here, the, the same inside view. Uh, the continuation between rectus abdominis and uh, adductor longus can explain uh, the pain, sometimes up and down. Here in the adductor, we have the, the most the m strong is the adductor longus, and after brevis, magnus, pectineus, gracilis, and sartorius. And uh, it's important to know that the origin of the adductor longus is in 40% tendinous and 60% muscular. It's important for the treatment after. And the whole origin of the adductor brevis, adductor manus, and bectinus are only myoperistoneal, no tendon. So for the diagnosis, uh, of course, uh, always anamnestic inform information. And uh, you can see the, the, the growing pain uh, developed during exercise, of course. And uh, the pain can be localized at the adductor region, perineum, and sometimes in a, in a testicular region. It's important to know that during a period of inactivity, the pain will disappear, but relapse when sporting uh, uh, activity resume. So the examination, uh, <coughs> it's uh, Zarko uh, show you well the examination. So, uh, it's important to see the adductor, and this is the same. You can see the tend uh, show the tenderness, the, the squeeze test, and the, the adductor resistance against. So uh, other uh, investigations, standard radiography, always ape and pubis to. Um, to find uh, some uh, osteoarthritis, fractures, or ovulation. Dynamic ultrasound is the, the most important for the adductor rotator groin pain, and also for 
the lesion of the rectus abdominis. But MRI, for me, is the best to see well uh, uh, of the lesion, and uh, particularly the symphysis, the bone, and the uh, adductor. Here you can see uh, one uh, uh, left uh, uh, adductor tendinopathy. <coughs> this slide only for to, 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 to speak about acute injury. In football, um, there is eight incidents, maybe uh, about 25% uh, of muscle injury in the football association. And for me, there is no surgery in this indication, unless, of course, complicated hematoma. After medical treatment and active physiotherapy, and you use Olmis protocol, there is no improvement. Maybe, maybe, tenotomy is possible, but for me, it's in one indication, case by case, every time. So, when surgery adductor aortic ground pain, it's for no improvement after physiotherapy, and if you use, well, the Olmich protocols since two, three months. So, we can decide adductor tenotomy. Sometimes, of course, in the association between a pathology of abdominal wall and chronic adductor tendinopathy, you can use surgical procedure on both sides, for me, when you have a pathology of abdominal wall, and tenotomy only on the, on the side where the lesion. Principal reason for the, the, the player is when will I feel better, when will I play again, of course, and the patient must accept and understand very well the healing process. For this, the patient must be treated by professional specialists in this pathology in sports. And the, the, the success of the surgery, the success of the treatment, is always the dis disappears of pain, back to the field within two or three months, and of course, no recurrence. For me, it's about three or five years. So, for surgical technique, I prefer the, the same technique like Tharco. I use a uh, shoulder technique, but now more than 50% uh, of my own experience, Mushawek procedure. And also, I associate sometimes in 15% adductor tenotomy. What is the technique? Is uh, under general anesthesia, with local anesthesia, with bufibucaine for the, the pain after the surgery. A short incision, two, three centimeters, and uh, you, you, the femoral aponosis is split. You can see here, one, maybe. <laughs> But, sorry. So, the movie is not good. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, after the femoral aponeurosis split, you can uh, find uh, uh, the tendon and uh, um, different lesion in the tendon, some inflammatory or tear, sometimes fibrosis or uh, ossifications. And the tendon is thick or torn, of course, and uh, it's cut one centimeter underneath its insertion. The anterior flap of the tendon is pushed inferiorly, and the femoral aponeurosis is closed. Nice. Sorry for the movie. It's my reason uh, to understand why I, I, um, uh, I do now uh, adductor tenotomy. First study is retrospective study uh, uh, between uh, 2000 and 2005. I uh, had operated uh, 450 patients uh, and using Schulteis technique. The result is 90% of patients uh, uh, with good result and excellent result and uh, uh, the, the return on the competitive sport within two, three months. Morbidity is only 8%, some like an infection or hematoma. Here we can see uh, two groups uh, of this study. One of only inguinal erratic ground pain and use uh, only shoulder ice, and another one with inguinal erratic ground pain and associate adductor erratic ground pain. And uh, we can see the recurrence, it's 20% in the second group because uh, the, the, the adductor erratic ground pain. So I start uh, uh, adductor tenotomy 
between uh, the, uh, after this uh, uh, study and uh, between September 2007 and uh, 2010, I had uh, operated almost 200 patients and using adductor uh, tenotomy, but also shoulder ice technique. Mobility is uh, 10%, uh, of course, uh, with hematoma or internal uh, infection. Here we can see exactly the, the, the damage of tendon is tear and inflammation uh, uh, in 25% of this population, and 75% uh, of this population have uh, fibrosis or ossification. And the result is 85% return to the competitive sport and with a, a very good results. One thing about uh, the pain after adductor tenotomy. For me, it's because there are two reasons. For sometimes we have adhesions between the adductor longus tendon and the aponeurosis, and with acute pain after rhythming football due to adhesiolysis of this uh, tendon. And second is because the, there is an exaggerated reformation of the tendon, sometimes with ossification, we need a new excision of the tendon, but is for me under one or two percent. So after surgery, it's, the rehabilitation is vital. Uh, there is no result without a, a good rehabilitation and a good program like Armish protocol after. And uh, after, uh, uh, two weeks is possible uh, jogging. Uh, after three weeks, uh, uh, with a sport doctor and physiotherapist, we can uh, start abdominal and adductor exercise, run easily. After four weeks, is it possible sprint? After six and uh, six weeks, uh, training is possible, and uh, the participation activity is between two, eight, eight and twelve weeks. But it's important to know that the, the, the pain is normal and be careful. Uh, this slide only to, uh, to see the literature. There is no um, study in the literature. We compare uh, surgery and uh, uh, physiotherapy, but uh, you can uh, see that uh, uh, in, when you use um, active uh, training, uh, against passive uh, uh, physiotherapy, uh, we have 79% uh, good result uh, with, uh, when you use active training. And uh, uh, when you <coughs> uh, <the coughs> use adductor tenotomy, there is good result, but only uh, uh, um, short uh, uh, patient for this study. So for me, uh, Acute injury in adductor lateral ground pain, there is no indication of surgery. Uh, in case of long standing adductor lateral ground pain, medical treatment in first, always, and uh, physiotherapy and use all mesh protocol, uh, and if there is no improvement, but after one month, two or three months, there is a problem, surgery is indicated, and uh, I use tenotomy. The result is with surgery, 85% 80, 80, uh, treatments against physiotherapy, 75, 80% uh, treatments. Thank you very much, and uh, I, uh, I wish uh, all the best for the whole team. But if French uh, can win, uh, I will be very happy. <laughs> Thanks.